1967 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Bright, satiny surfaces are awash in fully original light orange luster. With nary a distracting abrasion or other blemish in evidence, the eye appeal and technical quality are perfectly matched for this superb gem. It was sold for $4,025. Number 3. This is 1941 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded as FS 101 MS 66 read by PCGS and endorsed by CAC. According to Ron Guth, three different die varieties are known as the 1941 double die. All three are of roughly the same value, two look very much alike, and the third is relatively weak but shows a wider spread between the first and second hubbing. FS 101, fairly strong doubling at liberty, weaker doubling at trust, doubling of the four of the date, weak doubling at W of we. The weakness of the first hubbing is especially apparent on trust, especially in comparison to the FS-102. This red FS-101 specimen fetched a sum of $5,750 at auction. Number 2. This is 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 65 red and brown by PCGS. Virtually pristine surfaces and nearly full mint color set this beautiful gem apart from the vast majority of Mint State 1955 double die obverse scents extant. Gorgeous rose orange color greets the viewer from both sides, there being only the lightest iridescent toning to confirm the airbay designation from PCGS. According to NGC, this is by far the most dramatic double die variety in United States coinage and certainly the most highly sought. It is believed to have occurred during the fall, when a severe shortage of scents drove the Philadelphia Mint to extreme measures that included working 12-hour days. An estimated 24,000 examples were coined, but this figure is merely a reconstruction that can never be proved. This one ended up selling for $9,600. Number 1. This is 1911 Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. CAC proven superb gem. This is a very common coin in circulated grades, and mint state pieces certified as BN or Air Bay are plentiful. Fully red gems are available, but they bring strong prices from registry set buyers. MS-67 specimens are scarce to rare, while MS-68 examples are almost unheard of. This is the single finest specimen according to PCGS census. It was sold for $120,937.50 with buyer's fee. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures in your coin collection, because you never know when you might stumble upon the next big find.